In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate podcast show notes quickly and easily. Hey, this is Luke with the Wave Team, here to help podcasters like you to elevate their reach. So be sure and take a second and subscribe below so you don't miss any podcasting tips in the future. Creating podcast show notes is an important part of the podcasting process. It not only provides the best experience for your listeners with helpful recaps, summaries, and resources from your episode, but it also can help getting your podcast discovered by new listeners looking for content just like yours, aka getting your podcast found in Google. Now, when we talk about show notes, we're essentially talking about written notes about your show. So many people use show notes interchangeably with your podcast description, and this form of show notes tends to be more summarized and just shorter in nature. And there's also long form show notes, and these tend to come in the form of blog posts. In our opinion, both of these forms of show notes are essential to your success as a podcaster, but it's also one that many people neglect because it can be a lot of extra work. That is, without the right tools at your side. To help you generate podcast show notes quickly and easily, we recommend the website duplicate.co. I'm going to show you how you can create them in these simple steps. Step one, we need to convert your podcast episode to text. So we'll want to go and sign up for an account at duplicate.co, and this will allow us to convert our first piece of content for free. Click Create New to upload your podcast audio file. Then Duplicate will automatically transcribe the speech in your file with 80% accuracy and convert it to text automatically formatted with paragraph breaks. So step two is to clean up our show notes. Duplicate provides an easy to use editor with tools to get your show notes ready to post in your description or as a separate blog post. You'll find that the transcription is very accurate, but not perfect. So we recommend looking through your text for mistakes. Fortunately, if you have the Grammarly extension installed on your browser, this process is a breeze. You can also use Duplicate's find and replace function to find any uncommon proper nouns that may need to be fixed for spelling or capitalization. And this is also helpful to filter out any filler words that you tend to use, such as like, so anyway, you know. The nice thing is that more common filler words like um will get filtered out automatically. Next, Duplicate allows you to format your show notes. You can add paragraph breaks, bullet points, links, and much more. If you'll be formatting your show notes as a blog post, then you'll also be able to add H1, H2, H3 headline tags, which is really important for SEO. Now, if you are mainly creating your show notes for your podcast description, then I recommend making these headlines bold. Step number four, an important aspect of show notes is sharing resources that you mentioned in your podcast episode. So be sure and hyperlink those in your text. And by the way, including outbound links like this can help for SEO. Number five, add images. For your blog post show notes, you should give your post some visual appeal, so be sure and add some images. You can upload your own or use Duplicate's quick image search, which is powered through Unsplash. One last crucial step for your blog post is to actually embed your podcast episode audio. Remember, your show notes in the form of a blog post have a much higher chance of ranking in search results. So your written content may become the gateway for people discovering your podcast audio. So don't forget to embed the actual audio in this post. Once you've finished editing the full show notes for your blog, one last step you may need to do is to adapt your full length post into a shorter version for your description. And this will be based on the character limit for your episode description. At this point, it's just a matter of subtracting from your full post. So you may choose to create an abridged version of it by only including the most relevant paragraphs from your overall post, or you can include the first several paragraphs from your full blog post, and then at the end, provide a link to keep reading, and this will take them to the full blog post. At the very minimum for your description show notes, make sure it include a paragraph intro about your episode, links to resources, and of course any calls to action you mention in your episode. When you're done editing your show notes in Duplicate, you can choose from one of their different export options to copy your content over to WordPress, Medium, or wherever your blog is hosted. So now you know how to generate your podcast show notes easily, you can get started free at duplicate.co. If you found this helpful, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. And to learn more ways to promote your podcast, you'll want to check out one of these videos next and subscribe so you don't miss any future tips. Until next time, keep creating.